Welcome to the IV. I've been up all night fishing. I've caught a bunch of catfish and I'm gonna show you what I've been doing all night <laughs> at first light. So you have these canals that are just like everywhere. It's almost kind of like a grid. And you take, this is a piece of uh, carp. Yeah. I've done it with shrimp. You kind of just let it drop, give it some line. And then you just kind of like flip it over and just wait, wait for it to bounce. And when it bounces, uh, usually you have a catfish on the line. Usually I like to wait for either the line to really start to move or you can see the tip of the rod just kind of bounce, bounce, bounce. But it might not look like there's much in here. This thing is like chock full of catfish. It's crazy. And some of them are pretty good size. I just pulled out one that was about this big or so. But last night I was catching one and a half, one and a quarter pounders. Good sizes, about this big. Now let's see if we got anything. Let me let out a little more line. This is going underneath that tube all the way over there. Let's see. Nothing. Let's go to the next spot. All right, I wasn't having so much luck there, so I decided to switch things up. Earlier in the day, I caught some of these crawdads. I put a little shrimp on my hook at the end of my line, found one of those canals and dropped the bait in. They grabbed on with their claws and I was able to hoist it up and put it into like a little uh, bucket of sorts and keep them alive. So then I put a hook through the tail and I was going after some smallmouth bass here. And let's just see if I had any luck. Nada. So I decided to go back to the catfish game and we tried a different spot here and I wanted to go more towards these little shaded areas where this concrete slab is. This is what coach told me to do. Let's see if we got anything here. Got it, got him, got him, baby, woo! Hey, look at that guy. All right, we got ourselves a catfish. Is that uh, big enough? No? All right. Sick. I did what you said, go by the wall in the shade. So we had enough catfish and on the way home, we decided to stop by one of these large reservoirs. And I was trying to go for some striped bass, which I didn't get on the cut bait, but I switched over to this lure and was able to get one. My first striper ever. Tiny, I know, but it is cool to get that fish off my uh, bucket list. Let's just say I didn't handle this part that great.
Calm down. We got ourselves our first driver. Spines are a little sharp. Yeah, they're really sharp. If you're dealing with treble hooks, make sure you bring some pliers. Ah, oh, you swallowed it. Right. There he goes. Freedom. <laughs>